I've been gone for like how long? And somehow YouTube can't even pull pull a grip, like get a grip. Like literally. Are you serious? Okay, look. If I wanna be advertiser friendly, then I'll try not to make any curses throughout this video and point out the key facts here. But first I wanna shut off my fan for a sec so I could just sweat this off. So let's turn off the fan. Let's turn off the fan, and let's make this point and clear. And, just so I can make it very point and clear here, I don't want any intrusions. So, if I do have to deal with some people coming out the door at me, and pointing a, a gun at me, and a sign to make me point out that YouTube is one of the best platforms in the world, I ain't messing around. So let's begin, shall we? YouTube as a platform has become probably one of the most influential platforms out there for content creators. And mainly people like myself who just like to talk a lot. And most of the time, sure, I've edited videos in the past and I do want to get back to that later on in the future. And YouTube as a platform today has gotten significantly worse. I mostly just want to talk about some very key things that kind of like draw the attention of the of the of the person who actually wants to be entertained or be kind of like let's say inspired by this one video that they want to watch and how it kind of like went down a bit so the first one i want to actually take a look at is mainly just um well mainly just something that they still have ignore, ignored every step of the way and that's the copyright system and it's become one of the most overused things ever on a copyright detail. For me, if I'm trying to do like a little review or reaction, I get a strike. Or more or less, it's probably going to tell me, you know, you know, like about the, av the dumb ad revenue stuff, you know. And then, and then like, it'll just tell you like, it's still good or it's not good. And then if it's like one key little scene, it's like one teeny little scene of a second other than just the entire video, for me, is pretty upsetting and pretty much unnecessary, at least. It's very unnecessary. But you know what's actually very unnecessary that literally is starting to peeve me off a little bit? That's the ads. Now, ads on YouTube have been around since day one. And they, and, and my guess, I know they're never going to go away. It's okay to put ads on YouTube, but they've gotten out of control. In many ways, it's gotten way more out of control. First off is that, well, you can't skip them. That's clearly one thing is. It's rare chances you can, but most of it is just 15 second ads that you have to wait and they drag on. They Not only do they drag on, I mean, they're slow in their seconds. It is, it is just painful. It's like, okay, yes, this 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 product does this. Yes, I get it. it. Everybody's using it. Can I can I watch my video now? You know, can I watch Tim the Tatman raging on Doctor Disrespect? Can I watch Billy Bob Tanley reacting to either Nostalgia Critic or Angry Video Game Nerd? You know, can I at least watch a video? And then the other worst thing is that two ads. I'm so sick of the double ad feature. That is how in anybody in the in even a even a corporate mind that I'm trying to understand here. How do they think that two ads in one video is going to give them the absolute perfect revenue type thing out there? How is it creative on a YouTube platform? It's not creative. It's pathetic. It's pathetic and a joke. The other thing that really peeves so many people, including content creators, are pretty much the removal of the dislike button. Ever since I've heard of that, and ever since I saw small little snippets of people removing the dislike button, it is beyond insane. Now, technically, they did not remove it. You could still dislike the dislike. The thing is, um, you're, you don't see the number of dislikes like you see the number 
of likes in a video. Mostly for many people, that's the reason why YouTube has been getting worse, is because the many things here, like, could I put your attention to the trailer for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare? That trailer from, from the creators of Treyarch, and even other video games, including content creators and video gamers like NoahJ456 and other people who have ranted on this, this trailer has one of the most dislikes in any video that people have ever seen. I still have not seen the trailer because this was during a time where I never seen the trailers for Call of Duty. I've never seen reactions to it. So it's beyond my moral compass to know how many dislikes were there. This was a time where I was more used to watching Black Ops 3 videos. It's water. That's why I have Nordicus. His, uh, his mark right here. This is why I have him. Because water. Cold. But, um, then comes, well, you know, YouTube just says, you know, we're going to take the dislike button away so that it actually can create more creative freedom and pretty much help out content creators. How does that help content creators? Not only do I think it pretty much doesn't serve any purpose whatsoever, you pretty much can just remove a like button altogether. You can remove the subscription button because it doesn't serve a purpose if you don't have to dislike anyhow. The other thing is, is that it helps people kind of like want a useful video. And there's not many useful videos. For instance, say I actually want to, oh, I don't know, get a nice good headset as I don't have any good headsets around, like a wireless headset. And um, I want to figure out how it works. So better, better yet to check some of the videos. And the videos, if they have the most dislikes, it probably means that it's not the most informative out of the bunch. Or... If it's a video that you look at the you look at this one little picture, this one little like profile picture of sorts, and you're thinking, yeah, that could be funny. And then you pretty much look straight into the video itself and see the amount of dislikes it has. And I mean beyond the amount of likes it has, and you're gonna say, Wow, that sucks. And that's what it is. Because nowadays, people rather just go straight into the comments and say how bad it is now. Because that's the only way we can kind of understand things now. Because without this button, it's beyond pointless. And it's not any kind of like technical, you know, like, like help at all. Especially with the other problems that YouTube has currently. The other thing too is that the amount of ads. I actually forgot to tell you the amount of ads. Keep reloading the page and you'll tell me there are multiple ads coming through each video. You'll have a rare chance, like four to five reloads on the one simple page on that one video just to get the, just to not have ads or at least have a skippable one or a six second one. I literally can't even watch a video because it is literally just populated with this stuff. And the other thing is how sensitive. YouTube is, as it's trying to go for the squeaky clean type thing, as they're trying to go PG. YouTube, like YouTube. And I'm talking to the CEO as well. Not only do I think that's absolutely ridiculous, and this is going for a guy who's been on the platform since he was a little kid, looking at mostly nerfing videos because, well, I'm still a nerfer. Not only do I think it's stupid, but it's impossible. And I say that with the most amount of hate and no sorries whatsoever is beyond impossible. How, how, how do you say, how is it impossible big time? Well, first of all, this is regular me talking. I do not have the sweater and hat on right now. How is it impossible? Well, first off, there are multiple to, multiple of adults on this platform, including celebrities, that literally have content that literally is mostly, most people could say, a little risque and a little, like, uh, perverted. 
like they say things that literally do not meet the guidelines. And the other thing is pretty much, well, it's just for the kids. That's clearly what it is. You know, how many people, and I want to, I want to know, and I want you to tell me in the comments at least how many times you've ever heard literally in your mind when thinking that this is for the little kids, pretty much a woman clearly saying, would somebody please think about the children? Because right now, that's literally what I'm thinking right now. I am so infuriated every time I hear that. Because literally, it makes me want to say, no, please don't think about the children. Don't ever think about the children. And to me, I do care about our children so much in this world. But the fact that you're making cookie cutter content and cookie cutter rules that are not only a joke and beyond stupid and ridiculous and literally is not a smart corporate way whatsoever, it is beyond impossible to even make YouTube a PG squeaky clean thing. Scooby-Doo, Zombie Island, has a G rating. And it has zombies rising from their graves, crazy cat creatures sucking the life force out of them, pretty much having a body count, nonetheless, having disintegrated bodies of zombies and these cat creatures alone. And you want to make YouTube PG? I'd rather have YouTube be ready, ra rated R. No, no, no. I'd rather have it a rated X. You want to know what that means? For some of you who clearly don't know, rated X pretty much means um, it's not allowed to be shown. It is literally something that is not allowed to be shown. Night of the Living Dead's remake almost got a rated X, but it had to cut some scenes. Robocop had three X ratings because of its graphic violence. And the only way to kind of like tone down the violence was to put these stupid looking ads, which are 10 times better than the ones you're showing on YouTube now, just to kind of like, you know, soften the movie a little bit. Which kind of does bring me to that point, is that RoboCop does remind me of what today actually is. Pretty much corporate people putting some corporate, ad corporate commercials that literally do not meet the standards of someone who is smart enough to understand. Some of us have gotten really, really, really stupid. And that's why I have to say this with the bottom of my heart, and the bottom of my heart as not only a YouTuber on this platform, but as a human being. And I'm going to say this straight out there. Crazy Rabbit, I know we are done. We are done. But you are not one of, one of the worst YouTubers anymore. Far from it. You're not the worst YouTuber. You have variety. You have reasoning. And you can agree with me. Vanguard is bad. Jake and Logan Paul. The Paul brothers. One in WWE. The other in like what? MMA, UFC. I don't really... Boxing pretty much. Let's just say that. You two are safe. For now. You are not the worst YouTubers ever. Tana Mojul. Clearly an idiotic buffoon, pretty much. An idiotic buffoon. But you're safe. You're safe. For now. And then we get to one man that I can agree on, and everybody's going to agree on, is the worst YouTuber in YouTube history. And that is Nick Cicado Avocado. I never heard of this guy, especially during my time of watching YouTube. And this was during the time of the Black Ops 3 age. I've never heard of this guy whatsoever. Now, let me make this perfectly clear here. And this is me getting up here. I'm not the, well, as you could see, I'm not the most, well... How do I put this? I'm not the most, you know, strong or healthy at all. But if there's one thing that I do know, one thing I do know 
is that what I do is my choice. If I, if I choose to be a picky eater for the rest of my life, it's fine with me. But also, if I want to eat something that's healthy, I mean, sure, I'll eat something. I have rice. I have some... I have some beans. I have some cut green beans, which are delicious. I love cut green beans more than regular string beans. I think the cut ones just taste a lot better for me. And I'll have some mashed potatoes too. It is beyond what I love is that I'll have some bananas, maybe some apples. Maybe I'll have some nice good drinks like apple juice, orange juice, or maybe, um, it was like a mango juice that I that I always loved, but I always forget. But I do love him. Let's talk about Nikocado Avocado. His channel is simple, disgustingly simple, and I use disgustingly very, very loosely. He does storyline mukbang videos. What are mukbangs? Clearly, I had to figure this out literally with reactions by Billy Bob Tanley. And if you really want to look at Billy Bob Tanley's absolute hatred for this YouTuber, I recommend you look at his channels and look up, you know, BBT's reaction to Nikocado Avocado because he hates this guy. And I could, and I can understand why. Muppings should not be allowed on YouTube. Hell, they, uh, excuse me. They should not even be a trend. Why is that? It's simple. It's just people disgustingly eating food and making a huge joke out of themselves by doing it and pretty much making themselves fatter each and every time because there's nothing healthy that they're actually eating. They're mostly eating, what, noodles with some very spicy sauce that gets them close enough to actually go straight to their toilet then straight into the bed. The other thing, the name Mukbang is the dumbest name, probably one of the most stupidest names, than Blu-ray. Like, at least with Blu-ray, there are some discs that are blue. And it does sound decent. But Mukbang? That, that doesn't make no sense. It sounds like, like one of these weird, like, porno videos that I normally do not want to see at all. Like, at all of my life. And then we get Nikocado Avocado making that. A storyline mukbang video. Pretty much making himself a character, pretty much. Somewhat of a fat, funny character. Which, let's be honest, people. I've seen time after 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 time. Every time. I've seen it. Every single time. I've seen Patrick Starr, Carl Weezer, Peter Griffin. Homer Simpson, and even the American dad himself. I've seen it. I've seen the fat, stupid idiot. Time again. It's getting old. And the one thing that gets old for me is that Nikocado thinks he's funny. He thinks he's funny, but he's not. He is not funny. No matter how much I try to ignore BBT's reaction as much as he hates him, because I'm trying to get my perspective onto me either thinking that, is he good or is he bad? No, there is no value to this man whatsoever. Literally, he is just fat. That's it. If you think fat is funny, go see a psychiatrist. If you think eating is probably one of the most entertaining things ever, Go stare at a wall of dry paint. And if you think that mukbangs are one of the craziest trends ever, go back to watching commercials on Cheetah Pets. That is how much this, this YouTuber should not get the views, the money, the fame, even anything. That is how much I cannot stand the problems with this guy. And I'm going to make this perfectly clear. And this is a warning to Nikocado Avocado, and a actual big warning, because I am not a happy camper with the things he says on YouTube. I don't care if he's playing an act. I know he was serious. 
He thinks he's he thinks this is all a game, yet he has all this food that could have been literally sold to some of the poor people who could not feed even like a single soul. I could buy if I had the money like he does. Buy all that food and donate it to, to the poor people out there who are starving, who are literally needing our help in need. I would do it. I would donate that money to St. Jude's Children's Hospital. It is one of the most influential hospitals ever. I would donate to Connor's Cure to stop pediatric cancer. That is how much I would use that money. Sure, maybe I will, you know, get some COD points, maybe some more nerf stuff, but that's it. I'm not really asking for much. But this guy buys, and I'm not even kidding here, but let's just face it. He flat out said in one of his reaction videos of his animated version of himself being fat, despite him literally saying he's not fat, when really he is, he flat out states that he does not have that much money. Then how, how did you buy a two million dollar penthouse? How? How did you buy a two million dollar penthouse with three unnecessarily close bathrooms, an ugly paint style of white and gray, one of the ugliest mirrors I've ever seen in my life, a pool so close to death that I would not even swim in it. That I'd rather swim in the depths of the dark ether. With Samantha Maxis, by the way. How did you get that house then? Oh, and he always goes for the classic, it's your fault type argument. Like, he points at you. Like, he goes like, it's your fault. Okay, so if it's my fault. If it's my fault. Technically, because I know it's not. If it's my fault. How is it my fault? Why is it my fault? Can you explain, maybe? Instead of just flat out saying it? The other thing, too, is how grossly he eats his food. He wastes it so much, it's ridiculous. And flat out, he does say that his weight is just water weight. This? He, water weight? Doc. I eat chicken fries. And pizza. Every day since my date of birth. I literally have been eating that exact same food since I was born, kid. This is water weight. What you're eating is not water weight. It's fat. And the one thing that literally peeves me about him is how he... How he laughs at people who struggle at, like, having a life. Yet he could just sit there with all his money like this, you know, arms folded like this, you know. You know, his legs up here, you know, his legs, like, folded as well, like that, on his bed. And he says, you know, yeah, they struggle. Where's my popcorn? There are some people... And I'm not kidding. Who'd struggle? But their work pays off. They're struggling. Yes. But their work pays off in the end. Take the cops, for example. I definitely know that there are some very bad cops in this world. And that's understandable. But, they, but there are some good ones out there. Who, even in the slightest circumstances of hatred... And how they don't have the citizens back anymore. They still do what they do. They catch the, they catch the man responsible. They process him. They jail him. And they keep him away from society. So that at least society can be safe from people like this. They don't get paid well. No. But their hard work pays off because they know it's worth it at the end. Because they're saving lives. That goes to the same with firefighters and people in, in like hospitals and ambulances, the doctors, the nurses, the ERs, they do amazing job. When I told my story on story time with Dom, with my, with this thumb being removed, like, as you could see with the scar right here, 
Literally, they did everything they can to get my thumb back together, and they did. And I really, really do appreciate the hard work that these people do. And that's coming from the heart. So I want to know is how dare you even bother to say that? Let's make this also point and clear is that he knows religion. He says, first of all, I know religion. So I know how a wedding goes. And then he flat out pretty much mocks diabetes. Buddy, I want to make this very point and clear to you. I'm not going to swear. But I'm going to make this very point and clear to you. As a man, not a child, stuck in a man's body, a fat body so close to death that even God and Beelzebub would not even want you. My father was a very religious man. Not over-religious like many people out there, but he believed in God. He believed in the Lord himself. He was a Catholic. He also was a type 2 diabetic. When I lost him, it was one of the most difficult things of my life. I never even got to say goodbye to him. Never did. I never did. So I want to make this fucking point and clear, pal. And this is the only curse I ever say is that F-bomb. Don't you dare ever Point fun at my father again. I will be that fucking close to knocking your ass out. And I will legally, legally take your little water weight out of your body. So that I can make sure you suffer as a skinny little boy. That literally you can pull your opposite saying, Now look at me, I'm fat. When really, I just saved your life. Then you should be thanking me for that. So if I ever hear you clearly poking fun of my father again and clearly poking fun of my family again, I will make sure to come to your house and I will destroy everything you hold so dear. And, if I, and I want to make sure, is that point and clear to you? Because I know you're slightly stupid. But you're not stupid enough to understand that you're pretty much messing with the wrong person. You do not poke fun of people's families like that. I never, ever would poke fun of my father like that again. With, with his diabetes. With his religion. I would not dare do that. I would not. I would not poke fun of my mother because she's, you know, half Puerto Rican, half American. I would not do that. I would not poke fun of the fact that pretty much... This whole capital thing was pretty much a laughing stock, pretty much. It was a very serious event. I take this type of crap seriously. I may wear a gray Yankees hat. I may wear a gray and black sweater. But that's the point of me. I take this type of stuff very seriously. How dare you even bother making a joke out of it? I've never been this angry in my life and I will and I blame the CEO of this platform Susan I don't know her I don't know her last name and quite frankly I don't care but I make this point and clear to this CEO if she doesn't get a goddamn grip then this is the reason that she needs to be fired every single problem was because of her do I think that she's a good person? Well, quite frankly, she's not listening to the community that she pretty much is evolved in. She quite literally does not listen to the people who literally, like, explain the problems of freedom of speech and the copyright system. She's one of the reasons that the dislike is removed. So what is right with her? What is right? Well, more question is, what else is wrong with her? I think she's the reason why Nick Cicado her, himself is pretty much still on this platform. And then I'm, and then I'm going to take a very far step away from YouTube. And I want to actually talk about this one restaurant that I think even Gordon Ramsay would call the health department to shut that place down. 
is Heart Attack Grill. I don't know what's wrong with the justice system. Let's make this also point and clear here. I don't know what's wrong with our laws today. But somebody in this world, in a black coat, a suit, I don't care if it's a lawyer, an attorney, a judge, get a grip and wake up. How is this legal? How is this legal? There are rules in place when eating fast food. And these portions, portions are a huge problem here with me. I had to literally drop how much chicken I could even put in it in, in, in the oven because the fact that, you know, we're trying to save. We're literally trying here. I'm trying to at least eat some healthy stuff. Quite frankly, you know, I'll still keep eating chicken fries and pizza because that's what I do. But at least when it's actually something that my mom cooks and I know she is, a, she does cook well, I certainly would still eat it. I get a main problem is how the hell is this even legal? How the hell is even this owner who calls himself a doctor, a fake doctor, SCP-049, the plague doctor, would literally smell the pestilence, literally in Site-19 where he is staying, so far where the heart attack grill is, and he would literally smell it so far away, he would know who it is. And it's that stupid doctor that he calls himself. Let's make this point clear. He keeps ashes of his patrons. Keeps ashes of his patrons. Make this point clear. If I was to eat here, I most certainly would not want my ashes in this establishment. Because if that establishment killed me, and quite frankly, I did have very bad food poisonings before, I definitely would not want my ashes right here. I most certainly would not want my father's ashes literally in there as well. That's why it's safe with me. Let's make that point and clear here is that he does not care about a human. He does not even care about their health, life and death itself. You can see it in his face. I want to make this point and clear to anybody. I don't even know where this is from. Let me look this up because I don't even know how is this legal? Like this should not be legal. This man should be given a full sentence nonetheless. Because that is incredibly dangerous. And he could kill someone. He already killed one. So why not? You know? He's already got a bunch of people. Especially killing kids. He doesn't care about the kids. And his nurse outfit type thing. I don't even know what he's dressing the waiters as. But it looks horrible. It's very... It's wrong. It's... Oh my god. I gotta search this up before I get another headache again. Yeah, right here. I just want to know where this is from. Yep, it's a hamburger restaurant. It's in Las Vegas, Nevada. I rest my case. Even John Taffer, in his hometown, would probably think that this is one of the most absurd places in Las Vegas. I know Las Vegas is one of the biggest places in the world. Slot machines, strip clubs... And lots of great, great lights and atmosphere. But this joint looks horrendous. I gotta look at these images. This is, this is, this is absurd. Oh, great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here's Fatso right here. There he is. There's Fatso. And there's the doctor. This guy, this guy, this bald guy doesn't give a damn. This one here, this Fatso is clearly an idiot. This is beyond my comprehension. The size that you just saw was literally what they serve. How do you eat that alone as a hamburger? The portions are bad. The fries look like they're just full of fat. And I've tasted fries beforehand. And I think the best ones are the Popeye's fries. How do you mess that up? Fries are literally one of the most bigger, biggest sellers along with chicken. And they're very simple to make. The fact that this one guy literally doesn't give two whatevers literally shocks me. This whole place literally should be shut down. 
literally shut down. And this man should be slapped with cuffs. Literally slapped with cuffs. You know what makes me a big thing is that I think he's Republican. Now, I don't want to poke fun of anything. Maybe the red color is just like a very simple thing. Maybe it's to represent, you know, a classic old style restaurant, the right, the checkerboard, red and white style look. You know, the red background pretty much could represent, I don't know, like any doctor's area. But no, clearly, I think he's a Republican. It's because so many Republicans nowadays, I don't want to poke fun at it because I know there are a lot of Republicans that are great, great people. And if you are, I'm trying not to make fun of you in the least. But there are some, even ones that attacked the White House, clearly have no brain other than monkey brains. That is clearly what I think this doctor has. It's ridiculous. And how he can get away with it is beyond me. This place is beyond my recognition. I would still go to McDonald's. I would still go to Burger King. I would still order Papa John's. I most certainly would get Popeyes. But I will never go to this restaurant. I will never. And the fact that it's got a four-star rating, that means somebody in their right mind had the sack, the spine, to literally eat at this place. That place could that place is big enough. Literally could have been a bar. Literally could have been a a clothing store, a strip club. But no, it's a murder restaurant. I do not recommend you to ever go to this place. It is beyond horrendous. I got to see these reviews. Like are there comments? Are there comments on here Google? I really want to know. Rate this. I don't I don't even want to rate this a one star. <laughs> the fact that it's a five star rating, a 4.2, like 5,000 people, that's 5,000 idiots right there. Here's this one. Let me let me actually read this. Let me actually read this here. Finally I found a comment and it actually has a picture of what what this Huh. If you want to know what a disgusting hot dog looks like, there you go. I don't even know what the hell that is. But uh, let's take a read. Definitely a tourist trap that I could use a renovation, update the, the decor. You could tell the restaurant is older. Staff was great. Food was good. Nothing special, but not bad. The hot dog was a good size for the price. It was a fun experience that make good, sto good stories. Well, enjoy the videos of our spankings for not finishing our food happy we came but it's one of it's one and done type place clearly this guy i mean he has a palate it's respectable enough yeah great place this is must this is a must do when you visit las vegas oh hell no it's beyond ridiculous how the, half of these people clearly are killing themselves and they don't even know it. And here's the thing. The, the medical concept is not terrible. It's the way they portray it. They portray this whole thing as a joke. So they have nurses basically spanking people who don't finish their food. Like clearly, I, like is this a restaurant or is this Pornhub.com? Because literally, I, I think I'm literally looking at Pornhub.com. On YouTube. Yeah, literally, it's all about, like, if you don't finish the food, the nurses spank your ass. So clearly, that's the trend here. Clearly, if I want to eat out with a friends, I definitely do not want a girl in a nurse dress literally spanking my ass just because I couldn't finish a meal. I could barely finish large McDonald's fries. If I have to, like, save a Papa John's pizza, I'll save it in my fridge. I do not want to be punished just because I didn't finish. You expect me to finish your slop? I'm surprised. I hope it's a health hazard soon because this is unacceptable. And everybody's dressed in hospital gowns. This is clearly not an entertainment experience. 
It's it's an entertainment experience for someone who clearly has no right of mind. Most of these people are just overweight. Most of them are just idiotic. Most of them have not even a clue like what they're eating. Oh, okay, that one looks horrible. And I most certainly would not wear those. Like, why would I wear that shit on my on myself? The only reason I would wear a hospital gown is if I'm really going to a hospital. This is ridiculous. I don't know how. How we lost touch with reality. It's not that it's just like one simple problem. It's simple logic, people. It's simple logic. How is it not? God. It's simple logic. I don't understand how the hell we are starting to get even more dumb as a species. People say, you know, ever since this became a thing, people have gotten way more dumber. People got way more lazier. It's not true. We just got lazier because some people just don't care. And people are just a joke now. You want to make a joke out of yourself? More power to you. But if I have to deal with that type of crap again, then I am going to deal with that crap again. And Susan, for you, as a CEO on YouTube, I expect you to step up your play game right now. I expect you to act more like a manager more or less than an owner. A CEO nonetheless. Triple H, head of a creative team, and the CEO of WWE, is doing 10 times better than Vince McMahon with his stupid ideas that he had. He was revolutionary through his time. But he should have retired years ago. Literally, the ridiculous things. The unnecessary releases. The unnecessary name changes. And the unnecessary makeovers. It is beyond ridiculous, and I do not like it. I don't like how war brains are starting to get a little bit smaller each and every single time. I expect better crap in this world. I expect a lot. And I came back to this platform to see this. This is the disgrace. An absolute disgrace. And Jack Septicai was right. Autonomous was right. Markiplier was right. Other people who hate this platform are right. YouTube, the people who do this, the ones who started this whole problem, they are in the wrong. And I am one pissed off YouTuber for that. I don't care if I have revenue in this place. I don't care if I get flagged just because I said something bad about a CEO who clearly does not have a clue what she's doing. Because I don't use this platform as a source of money. If I did, then I'd be everybody else. I'd have more subscriptions than I do now. And I do appreciate my subscribers more than the, than the millions that Nick Akato himself has. That he, that he weighs down on. That he punishes. That he literally and figuratively punishes about. He's the worst YouTuber. End of story. I don't want to hear no complaints that people are saying, no, he's not. He's just a little funny. You're kind of overreacting. If you expect me to take some serious shit seriously, then he should stop acting like a buffoon and get some help. Eat healthy, lose some weight, and at least make some better videos. Because not only do I think his videos are absolutely disgusting, especially for somebody with anxieties like me, but they're boring as hell. They drag on too much, they're not funny, and he's just making a joke out of himself each and every single time. If you want to be serious about this Nick, or Nicholas Perry as they call you in real life, I expect you to be an adult. Because I sure am going to be one. Sure, I'll have a child of a mind always. I'll always love playing with plastic firearms. But that is my choice. If I want to be an adult... I will be an adult. This is inexcusable in every sense of the word. 
and you want to bring your attorney, Nick, then I suggest you come right over. Because I'm not afraid of you. I'm not scared of you. Hell, I am not afraid of your fat little carcass. If there's one thing that I would find you as the as as disgusting is the bloaters from Left for Dead. One and two, and maybe I think in the new one, Red I don't I forgot what the hell they called the new Left for Dead. But more importantly, you're them. A fat slob that pukes stuff and shits stuff out. You are the most disgusting person on this planet. And may and may every single bad luck that has been granted to so many innocent people be striked upon you. Oh, and is that a curse? Yes. I may have been cursed to live a life where I don't have a father. But my father at least died a hero. You? You'll just die a joke. As, as any YouTuber. And everybody's reaction of your death will be this. He's gone. I'm gonna go throw a party. That's what I think. This may be late at night, but you will see this probably right now on a... Wait, I forgot what date it is in because my on a Thursday, the start of September. You might see this at the start of September, probably in the afternoon. But I want to make this point clear here is that I do not want to get this furious ever again. Because if I have to, my migraine's going to get even worse. So I'd rather have all these YouTubers, including Nick, I want that CEO, I want that grill out of here. I want that heart attack grill with their nurses and that doctor out of here. I think the waitresses do fine. They, I don't think they even like doing this. But that, that owner needs to get sentenced. That's, that person needs to have his entire doctor clothing removed from his body. I want that, I want that CEO Susan to get a grip. And I want each and every single justice system to wake the hell up. We live, we live in America. That's true. But that doesn't make us jerks, idiots, and quite clearly, fools. If you're trying to prove me wrong, prove it. And do it as at least an adult. Because I'm tired of this crap. I'm going to bed. I don't want to deal with this crap ever again. And Nick, if you're going to make a video about it, don't eat any shit. Don't even bother grabbing a Happy Meal. Just have a drink on you. Put it here, right here, so the camera could see it, and watch my video. And this time, take it seriously. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see that. I also don't want to see... I don't want to see that either. I want to see you taking it seriously. Each and every single word that comes out of my lips. Every single word that comes out of my tongue. You hear? I most certainly do not want to see you on this platform ever again. And that is point and clear. Because I will always call you the worst YouTuber. When you leave or if you're staying. That includes your stupid fat husband too. May you all rot in hell. As for the rest of you who agree with me and support me, I really do appreciate it because this is such a tough time we're living in, but we have to make everything count. I cannot just look back and say, this is fine. We can't anymore. And this time, proving a point is just not enough. We have to win. See you in the next life.